Hello students, today again we are going to take up a question on hydrostatics basically and the problem is based on liquid inside an accelerated container. The question may sound very easy when you read it once, but when you start doing it, it may become a bit tough. So, please try to solve the question on your own and then only make a judgment whether it is tough or easy for you. And if you are not able to solve it, of course, go through the solution that I am going to give here. Here is the question. There is an open rectangular tank, open rectangular tank, this one. This one is an open rectangular tank and its dimension is 5 meter, 3 meter and the depth is 4 meter, right. So, if you look at the tank from the top, there is 5 meter this 4 meter, the dimension which is not visible and the height is 3 meter and the tank is open at the top, that is what the question says. Now, it is filled with water up to a height of 2 meter. So, this blue colored thing is water and this height is 2 meter. So, 1 meter is uh, basically air. Now, the whole tank is accelerated horizontally along the longer side along the longer side, this is how the tank has been accelerated. The whole tank is accelerated horizontally with a very high acceleration and the acceleration is 9 meter per second square. But the question says, it is accelerated horizontally along the longer side after closing the tank at the top. So, first you close the tank here, put a lid here and then you accelerate the tank. So, the tank was closed and then it was accelerated. <coughs> acceleration is 9 meter per second square. The question says find the maximum gauze pressure inside uh, the tank after the water settles in equilibrium relative to the tank. So, initially of course, uh, the water will sway like this, but if you keep on moving it with constant acceleration for a long period of time, after some time the water will stabilize inside the tank and only when the water stabilizes, the question says assume that water has stabilized. Now, at which point the pressure is maximum inside the tank and what is the value of gauze pressure at that particular point? This is what the question is asking you to do. So, all of you who want to give it a try, please do give it a try. Uh, students, actually the shape of the entire water volume inside the tank may become like this. Why am I saying it like this? Because, because <coughs> all of you know that, all of you know that if water is filled in a tank and the tank is given an acceleration A, the liquid surface, the water surface gets inclined with the horizontal and the inclination angle is A by G. I hope all of you know this, I am not proving this. So, in this particular question, the value of A is 9. So, tan theta will become 9 by 10, is not it? Tan theta will become 9 by 10. But look at the dimensions of the tank. The tank is very long and its height is only 3 meter. If I just assume that, just for the sake of argument, I assume that water becomes like this when the tank is accelerated. Then what is value of this angle? Tan alpha is 3 by 5. It is 0. 0.6. Can you see this? If water surface becomes like this, then the inclination of this water surface with horizontal is tan inverse 0. 0.6. But actually our physics says that the inclination angle should be tan inverse 0. 0.9. So, water cannot remain like this. The surface of the water has to get inclined even more. Uh, if the tank were open, if the tank were open, what will happen is a different story, keep thinking about it. But here the question says that tank is closed at the top and physics says that the water surface, water surface exposed to air should, 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 should be inclined to the horizontal at much higher angle than this. So, what is the possibility? This is how it will look like. Now, this angle, this angle is 
equal to tan inverse point 0.9 this is theta this is tan inverse point 0.9 so the volume volume of water that was originally present inside the tank it is still there because the tank has been closed at the top so no liquid can spill out so the amount of air that was inside the tank at atmospheric pressure remains there so the volume of air inside the tank will remain intact it has not changed that means there is no change in pressure of air inside the tank it is still the atmospheric pressure because there is no change in volume of air huh? so volume of air has not changed volume of liquid has not changed so atmospheric uh, air which was originally enclosed here at atmospheric pressure will stay at atmospheric pressure so in this all white part that you see here it is basically air and <coughs> pressure is atmospheric pressure but i hope all of you have understood that water surface cannot remain like this otherwise there is some more liquid actually present here so where will it go it will have to adjust like this water surface wants to get even more inclined so this is what will happen actually now if i make a quick calculation of these lengths like uh, what is the value of this x let me call it as x1 and let me call this as x2 can i calculate x1 and x2 yes just by knowing that volume of water has not changed i'll be able to calculate x1 and x2 it is not very difficult and al i also know the value of uh, angle theta so this theta tan theta is 0.99 by 10 uh, this height is 3 meter so just by using the definition of tan theta i can write 3 by x2 is 9 upon 10 3 by x2 is nothing but tan theta so x2 is 10 upon 3, 3.33 meter, x2 is 3.33 meter, very simple. What about x1? Now equate the volume, uh, that means volume of fluid inside the entire tank has not changed. So there is no spilling of liquid outside the tank as it is closed. So this will help you in calculating the value of x1 this rectangular thing this rectangular thing has area of uh, 3x1 and the depth of the tank is 4 meter so the volume of liquid here is 3x1 into 4 okay similarly this area of triangle will be half into base 10 10 upon 3 into height which is 3 so this is the cross this area uh, blue color triangular area that you are seeing and the tank is 4 meter deep going into the plane of the board therefore multiply this with 4 so this is the volume of blue colored space uh, that we are seeing in this diagram and this should be same as the original volume so originally originally the tank was filled like this this is 5 meter this is 2 meter and the depth is 4 meter so 5 into 2 into 4 this is the entire volume of the liquid. So we can evaluate the value of x1 from here. It is not very difficult. So this becomes 12x1 plus uh, 3, 3 goes away, 5, 5, 4, ja 20, and this 5, 2, ja 10, 4, ja 40. So x1 is 20 by 12, that is 10 by 6, that is 5 by 3, that is 1.67 meter. So this x1 is 1.67 meter and this, this is 3.33 meter. In fact, if you add these two, it sums up to 5 meter. So actually, this liquid foot of this uh, triangle will fall at this point in fact, because sum of these two is on exactly equal to 5 meter. So this is what the actual diagram situation will look like, isn't it? Uh, this thing is, uh, how much was this? x1 was equal to 1.67 meter this is 1.67 meter and this is 1.67 meter and this whole thing is 3.33 meter so sorry 
this is 3.33 meter from here to here. So, whole thing is 5 meter, right. So, what is happening is or at the top again I remind you that the tank is closed using a lid. So, water actually is exerting pressure on that top enclosure. I mean the top lid is experiencing force. You have to hold it by applying some force otherwise water will push it out. I leave it to your imagination to understand that pressure here will be more than pressure at this point. Here the pressure is exactly atmospheric pressure. The whole white part is filled with air which is at atmospheric pressure. So, everywhere here the pressure is atmospheric pressure. But as you go here, the pressure increases. I will just tell you in a moment. So, the question was about finding the point where the pressure will be highest inside the tank and to calculate that pressure. Now, it can be done very easily. This acceleration is 9 meter per second square. Okay, students, just allow me 2 minutes to clear your concepts. If you keep a bucket filled with water, right, you move from point A to point B at depth h, the pressure increases by rho g h. Here acceleration due to gravity is g, rho g h is the increase in pressure, okay, fine. Now, suppose, suppose, suppose just a minute, imagine a minute that you are in a space. Uh, let us assume that you are in a spacecraft, okay. It is traveling with some acceleration A. Now, let, let us imagine that you have a bucket, just imagine. You have a bucket, okay. And the bucket is filled with some water. So, the water will stay like this inside the bucket. Because in this reference frame, if you are sitting over here, in this reference frame, if you drop a ball, ball appears to be moving in this direction. If the rocket is having an acceleration A, then the ball to you, the ball will appear to be moving in this direction with acceleration A, if you release a ball. So, in your environment, you feel as if there is an acceleration of free fall in this direction. So, the water surface will become like this. If you move from this point to this point at a depth H, then pressure will increase by rho a h because in this environment you are feeling that there is an acceleration of free fall in this direction. You drop a ball, it moves in this direction. Water remains like this. You move to a depth h and pressure increases by rho g h. No g, it is actually a, right. So, similar thing happens here also. Similar thing happens here also. In this container, in this particular container, uh, if there is an observer sitting inside the container and he or she drops a ball, how will the ball behave? How will it move? If you are here in an accelerated container and you drop a ball, how does the ball appear to be moving? This man finds that ball actually travels in this direction. Actually, he sees that there is an acceleration due to gravity and there is another acceleration here. Basically, it is arising because of pseudo force. Mg is the real force acting on the ball and there is a pseudo force Ma. So, these two are causing a resultant force on the ball in this direction and the ball moves in this direction, is not it? So, what I am trying to say is if the container is accelerated this way, uh, it is effectively creating an atmosphere where you find that there is an additional acceleration in this direction, something similar to acceleration of free fall. So, when there is an acceleration due to gravity in vertically downward direction and you go h deep, the pressure rises by rho g h. Similarly, if this container is having an acceleration a this way and you move x distance this way from point a to b, if you move from a to b, pressure increases by rho a x. Jaisa effect is gravity ki wajah se ho raha hai, waisa effect is acceleration ki wajah se ho raha hai. Yaha se yaha jane pe pressure pada jata hai rho a x, g ki jaga a. So, students, uh, if you want to write pressure like this, let us say, suppose 
just a minute. Actually, my shirt touches the board and it is very sensitive <laughs> and setting gets displaced, uh, disturbed. So, if I, if I were knowing pressure at this particular point, if I were knowing pressure at point A, then pressure at this particular point will be simply pressure at A plus rho G H, that is all. I have moved in the direction of acceleration due to gravity by distance H, the pressure will rise by rho G H. But I do not know the pressure at point A, though I can calculate it, but right now I do not know. So, a much better approach will be to travel horizontally from this point to this point. Yes, what I am saying is at this point, the pressure is atmospheric pressure, is not it? The whole air is at atmospheric pressure. So, if I move a distance of 5 meter this way to reach point B, pressure at B will be equal to pressure at C plus rho A into 5 meter. Are you getting my point? Because the container is accelerated this way, if I move horizontally in opposite direction, the pressure increases rho A x. Okay, the, this is valid when acceleration is constant. If it is variable, then we need to do small integration and all. Okay. So, the question is basically asking you to find gauze pressure. So, gauze pressure is nothing but pressure at a point minus the atmospheric pressure. So, P c pressure at c is nothing but atmospheric pressure. So, what the question is asking you to find is P b minus P c, which the answer is rho A x, right. So, it is water, it is given in the question that it is water. So, you know that density is 10 to the power 3. It is given in the question that acceleration is 9. It is given in the question that x is 5 meter. So, so many Pascal will be the gauss pressure at point B and B is the point where pressure is maximum, right. Because uh, if I consider this point, then from here to here I have to move a smaller distance and change in pressure will be smaller. You can think about it, keep thinking about it for a few more minutes. You will be able to realize that point B will have maximum pressure. Uh, actually, at point A or at all these points, liquid is pushing against the top cover, top lid of the container and the container is also applying a downward force, right. So, pressure here is not atmospheric pressure, the container is pushing it down, right. And whatever be the pressure at A, that plus rho G H is pressure at B. Yes. So, uh, right now we have worked out pressure at B. So, if you ask me what is pressure at A, I can just move from here to here and say that if I go H up, then pressure drops by rho G H. So, that way you can write pressure at point A also. So, students, I hope you liked this problem and its solution. Do like the video. You watch the video but do not like it. What is that? Please do like the video immediately now. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. See you in the next video.